Hello, everyone. Welcome to eMemories webinar. Today, we are going to briefly introduce our company and then talking about the topic configurable EEPROM building blocks with Neo EE technology. As the world's leading provider of semiconductor IP, eMemory is specialized in offering logic NVM silicon IPs, including OTP memories. MTP memories and path best solutions. The new EE technology we are, going to, we are going to talk about today is one of the MTP memories. By listening to its key features and the user scenarios, you will get to know how new EE modules could be a flexible EEPROM alternative and be more familiar with its practical implementation. We are honored to have Robert our department manager of technology development department for here with us to present this topic. Without further ado, let's begin the webinar. Hello everyone. Thanks for giving us your time today and joining this webinar. Configurable EEPROM building blocks by using Neo E technology. Today I will share the progress and the specification flexibility of eMemory's EEPROM IP and I hope you will get more familiar with new e technology. Here is our online today. We're going to cover the topic in three parts. The first one is new e modules for e-prone replacement, talking about the key design features for e-prone users. And then I will move on to discuss novel memory application scenarios for new e technology, followed by New E's design categories and foundry or process platform availability. Finally, we will close with a quick summary. So, let's begin with New E modules for E prone replacement. New E has been delivered to users in various fields, such as in power management ICs, display drivers, camera sensors and modules, microcontrollers, fingerprint sensors and even chips for automotive solutions and RFID tags. We have seen an uptick in adoption because Neo E is an ideal choice for trimming, function selection, firmware update, all for extremely high endurance, low power, pure 3 volt or pure 5 volt controllers for large comparable platforms, or for those in customized processes. Out of the, all these applications for new e solutions, the MCU, the PMIC, various sensors, and the RFID tags occupy the mass majority of the current adoption. And the most common use case of this technology is for chip configuration settings, analog trimming part, and code or data storage. Chip configurations such as power sequence voltage regulation, frequency settings, current monitoring, and signal feedback are fundamental parameters that may need frequent read, overwrite, or even occasional firmware updates. In certain circumstances, the override endurance will need to be high as 100k cycles. NIA has delivered high-quality solutions with high reliability requirements which is why we see an uptick in adoption. Another typical use case is trimming for analog signals. From the input signal amplification of sensors, parameter in an algorithm or curve fitting, to output signal amplification or regulation in power management or all kinds of drivers. These parameters will need parameter initialization and infill in calibrations throughout the production flow. For these purposes, it's worth noting that New E delivers solutions with wide range of operating voltage and junction temperature across various test or usage environments. Another common usage is for cold storage especially for specific applications like active or passive RFID tags. New E can further optimize power specifications with an affordable area budget. 
thanks to its low power consumption in read and write operations. And also, some advanced users may even adopt NeoEE and NeoBit solutions altogether on the same platform. To build their specific code allocation or unique treatments for digital and analog parts. So, among so many MTV solutions out there, why should people choose NeoEE? What makes the IP stand apart from the competition? NeoEE is one MTV solution utilizing for the Norheim tunneling or FN tunneling for the USN program operations. Such tunneling mechanism is well known for extremely low power consumption, low stress over transistors, and durability across a wide range of operating temperature. With this fundamental characteristics, FN tunneling forms an attractive operating scheme that supports a robust program US operation with a very low power allocation. At the same time, the low stress over transistors when compared to hot carrier injections, it's not really easy to build memory blocks with much higher endurance in common logic processes. Or to build an MTP solution with similar circuit design. In embracing the benefits of FN tunneling, as always, e-memory delivers, NeoE is an ideal MTP solution for high and stable sorting yields and thus provide a fast time to market compared to the alternatives. For over a decade since its initial release in 2011, NUI has been integrated into multiple process platforms, including Logic, BCD, Green, High Voltage, Low Leakage, or Ultra Low Power, SOI, and among others. Not only a user and foundry friendly MTV solution for numerous process platforms, but NeoE also demonstrated its pursuit of high quality standards and robust design schemes, such as the automotive validation for the ISO 26262 SLD and IEC 61508CO3 standards, as well as delivering its standard packages or solutions for several design targets. NeoE also helped many users achieve their production goals. Till year 2022, NeoE has been validated for more than 200 IP packages, over 14 foundries or IDMs, 46 processes, and 26 more ongoing. It also has been implemented into more than 300 products and roughly 1 million 8 inch wafers production. And this time, we are sharing a flexible EE Pro alternative. Not only delivering robust reliability, just as you might already know, but NeoE also develops its own solutions based on specific facts, such as highly reliable operation scheme and circuitry, user friendly interface and spec, practical cost efficiency, easy production plan and the value added to platforms. Besides obtaining large cell windows with excellent data retention in its fresh or cycled states, New East technology further delivers IP free from all kinds of disturbances, such as program disturbance, cycling disturbance, read disturbance, etc. This disturbance-free quality are believed to be crucial in high temperature operations. Furthermore, NeoE easily fulfills requirements from system power range or operating targets. And of course, NeoE developed various user modes and test modes for users' production plans. I will now go through all the good qualities NeoEE delivers already but just leave the brief for you. Except for those general offerings, we frequently receive requests to meet specific requirements from advanced users, which we are more than happy to accommodate. Such as, do you have a write function instead of respective program and US modes? 
Do you plan to reinforce operating temperature to a higher level? Do you have ECC functions? May we have a deepen wheel or MBL isolation in a specific process? Can we lower down the layer of metal routing since I got only two layers to run? I'd like to have this IP, but with such and such as by ratio, will it be possible before the time when? Of course, the answer to this request is yes. We in memory retain a complete customer engineering team, especially to accommodate this, and we welcome further discussions to help fulfill your needs. So, why could we do this so? This diagram provides a bit more context for understanding New East key qualities. For these function blocks, we framed circuit blocks with clear power planes and control channels which separates the high voltage path from the larger levels. This is a key factor in not bringing about the disturbance issues and also makes our designers easy to optimize or build new circuit functions, such as a write function in some IPs. Meanwhile, this floor plan gives us high flexibility to count density down or to build up information blocks to store trimming codes. This also can change IO bandwidth to cope with external ECC parts or to reshape for different backend metal design rules or features with minimal area penalties. Of course, these are some benefits already delivered, but we believe it will be an excellent foundation to build your own function. Let's break this down a little further by looking at a configurable EEPRO solution. Here, another beneficial element of the new E function blocks is that it allows you to optimize your flow plan. We centralize analog and high voltage parts in one common block, the upper one. And from there, we stretch the internal voltage rails and the shared control terminals to subsidiary memory blocks, the lower ones. Those memory blocks contain memory arrays, their drivers, a sensing circuit, and some minimal control elements. These separate blocks are more convenient to implement and bring new ways to use them. This provides a freedom to assign memory blocks and operation schemes, which we will discuss later in next session. The Novato Memory Applications in Neurals with Neo EE. Here's the first flexibility you may want. Accompanied by the independent analog high-V block, we firstly demonstrate high-V block connections towards subsidiary memory building blocks, currently up to four. That means for your specific design or features, you may operate a single memory macro or two or three or four in parallel. Second, we build enablers in each high voltage and uh, memory macros, which means you may read each memory macro serially in a separate time frame, in parallel, or even with a time sequence as you want. Or you may write data into the memory macros in such a manner. This write or read schemes may suit your performance power optimization design. Alternatively, you may assign a memory block or several blocks to store data for corresponding function block made by your own. For example, if one is assigned to a larger part and the other or others might be assigned to a power management or sensors, especially when you are planning to minimize data bus towards each sub-blocks, 
to your system on chip designs. Of course, we have delivered hundreds of memory IP with more comparable sizes considering the signal routings. Customized program or write units in byte word page, which is 128 bits in a row. Customized key features or reliability targets. All these scenarios are not just simple connection changes between blocks. This freedom of block connections requires the knowledge and the method to manage device SOA and the circuit operating procedure to fulfill all kinds of configuration allowed. Throughout the NeoE development history up to date, NeoE technology has delivered an extensive range of operating specs. Here comes the program erase temperature versus endurance. In a typical outside reality model, the final cycling endurance lifetime is highly related to the operating temperature. The higher the operating temperature, the smaller the endurance cycles you may get. NeoE develops certain schemes to fulfill all kinds of reliability requirements. Roughly speaking, it's a relatively easy program erase flow to general offerings. With endurance specification lower than 10K or temperature lower than 125 degrees C. And out there, with some techniques for cell performance improvements and the right flow develop otherwise. As more and more applications requesting MTP and uh, E prone solutions, NeoE has therefore already offered a wide selection of features and uh, platform choices. So let's move on to the third part of NeoE IP features and availability. Talking about the e prone solutions based on the new e technology, so let's take five volt categories for example first. New e IP offers functions under wide range VDD, low standby current, a high operating temperature of more than 125 degrees C, high quality data retention spec for fresh or cycle cells, and various functions for the three categories. For the widespread general offerings, the first column, NeoE delivers low to mid range memory density with compact IV size. For high endurance IP solutions, the second column, NeoE further brings endurance back more than 100k cycles without disturbance and retention concerns. Furthermore, thanks to the endurance enhancement, NeoE take one step further to deliver the RIF emulator as per requested. And finally, for the extreme cases, the third column, NeoE is validated with the highest operating temperature range and the specific design schemes to meet ISO 2662 ACLD and the IEC 61508 cell phase standards. It's worth mentioning that NeoE has developed and is developing further its generic and high endurance solutions for extensive process platforms. This means users may embed hassle-free e-prone solutions based on NeoE technology and still retain a high portability of the e-prone technology itself. And for users requesting a higher reliability standards, NeoE can either build an ECC function inside or deliver sufficient I/O bandwidth for customer-owned error code detection correction mechanisms. Other than 5 volt solutions, NeoE also provides various specifications for 3.3 volt users. The function and the benefit for general offerings are similar to the 501s we just mentioned. However, 
we made a further collection of the direct write IPs for users familiar with the ePROM function and the interface and still expecting low big count MTB solutions as shown in the second column. And currently, we are expanding our 3.3 volt IP portfolio towards higher operating temperatures and the retention specs for specific fields in the final column. Here we once again collect new EE specs for high endurance solutions on either 5 volt or 3.3 volt platforms for their requirements in high temperature or low power applications. And next, in this map of NeoE availability, NeoE has been qualified at 46 platforms for either 3.3 volt or 5 volt processors. And still, we got 26 more under development. Here we also marked platforms with high endurance solutions that are qualified, verified, or under development. And if you want any further information, please contact your customer engineer or search on the iService system for details. So, let me offer a quick summary of the main points from this webinar. First, however, I would like to put the market shift we see in a little perspective. The number of connected devices we have today has seen a continued exponential rise over the last 30 years. From millions to billions, and soon IoT devices will be numbered in trillions. We don't often take the time to consider the magnitude of that change and what that will actually entail. In an endless array of devices, smarter chips are going to be fabricated in more established, cost-effective processes with higher and deeper digital and log integration. We found that there is a growing trend in the market that requires a more robust MTP or EEPRO solution, especially for deep digital analog function integration, flexible interface, and more customized design specifications. So, by starting from those who are already familiar with eMemory's new bit and planning for products with wider diversity and functionality, we see NeoE as an ideal solution to accommodate this need for more advanced solutions available on established nodes. All indicators point to that. Based on our interval survey and users' inputs, we are sure that the need for more intelligent devices grows. We will see the need for more complex circuit integration. This is especially true for emerging markets such as smart PMIC, VCM drivers, camera drivers, motor drivers, DRAM modules, automotive products, and so on. Tightly sticking to the qualities of easy to use, versatile and flexible specs, and fast tight to market, New E delivers not only a good record, for customers' successful chip verification and production, but also a good start for compound, advanced, or emerging applications. These qualities are all built on fundamentals of memory cell schemes, robust circuit design, large reliability margins, and comfortable implementation. Here at eMemory, we believe New E can provide a solid stepping stone for constructing your ideas and achieving your development goals. Thank you for your attention during the talk. I hope this short talk has given you a clear picture of the new application modules and the latest development status of our new E technology. Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Thank you for your join and passion. We are now received several questions that are lined up for our response. The first question is, I noticed that mu ee solutions are distributed predominantly in just a few foundries. Is that linked to any production or process related issues? Let's invite Robert to answer these questions. Thank you, Olivia. Generally speaking, NeoE was driven by our customers more than by foundry requirements in the first several years. This resulted in our product portfolio being more widely available in some particular foundries. However, as more and more users adopted NeoE solutions, we are de developing a more comprehensive array of uh, available options, which gives us a uh, to give our customers a wider choice of production fabs and foundries. Up to now, we got no significant issues with function or reliability among different fabs and foundries. These promising results are partly owing to NeoE's more mature operation schemes and the design features. I would also like to add that developing new opportunities with design houses, houses or foundries is always welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. The second question we received is, um, can you elaborate more on new EE's design flexibility? Okay, Olivia, let me walk through two scenarios to give you a little more details. The first thing is to ensure that uh, whether the existing IP specifications meet as many as the client's requirements as possible, but lack qualification in the proposed foundries or fabs. In this scenario, it will be relatively straightforward from our standpoint. We would, we would uh, sell down all the technical aspects, perhaps with a few minor alterations to meet all the targets and uh, deal with the foundry license and the packages on the business side. In the second scenario, if the IP you are looking for is just confirmed for the bit density and the rapid spec, but not the functions, then we may have some proposals based on our existing IPs to accelerate the discussion process between us and to reduce the package delivery time frame for a solid IP and its characterization and uh, qualification vehicle. <laughs> In either of the scenarios, we will utilize our customer engineering team support to expedite the process. If you have other standards or guidelines to follow, we can, of course, uh, promptly uh, make any necessary ad adjustments to meet them and to uh, keep all the overall time, the design time frame at a minimum. Thank you for sharing such details. You know what? More and more listeners are curious about our new EE solutions. So everyone, if you are listening, please give us a second to go over which one would be the third question. Thank you. The third question is, is it actually as easy to break down the exciting IP into high voltage macros and the memory macros as you mentioned in this webinar? Hey, Robert, we need your assistance. Could you explain these questions for us? Okay, Olivia. Honestly speaking, it depends on your rapid target. Briefly speaking, if the margin of reliability, especially the cycling endurance is large enough, then it's easy to package them into several macros with some standard SOA review inter internally. Um, but however, if the rapid margin is small due to the high rapid target around uh, 100K or more, or uh, alternatively, if the smaller problem US units like uh, by byte or by word operation you are, use, you are planning to, uh, we should examine the SOA thoroughly again. To ensure that, that uh, every bit cell or its driver circuit is safe to operate, 
we should be aware that we are developing an MTP or e IP in an existing process, which really allows us to upper, optimize the process owing to the non-auto memory requirements. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Robert. That makes sense. I get it. And before I answer the next question, I want to mention that our webinar time is limited. We can help but choose the last question to give a quick response here. But no worries, all the questions you left in the Q&A box will get our feedback soon. So now let's move on to the next question. The question is, we're using another NTP solution. We have been getting some disturbance issues. We're cycling at 125 degrees Celsius. Does new EE have any issues with consecutive program or erase cycling? Hi, hey Robert, could you share your thoughts and experience on this? Okay, Olivia. I would love to know more about your cycling conditions or the program risk schemes you are using now uh, to give you a more in-depth answer. But from my experience, the is disturbance might relate to uh, product yield after cycling, and you might have consumed a considerable amount of samples to find it. I would say, no matter which which program or erase schemes you are using, one thing for sure is that the bias condition of unselected cell has to be as low as possible for the disturbance concern. This is because the IP must be immune from any disturbance to burn disturbances such as re-disturbance, program disturbance, or disturbance throughout the whole cycling test. However, based on such a bus condition, it might also strongly relate to a restructure. Some users do indeed ask us to demonstrate disturbances throughout the uh, uh, through a dis uh, detailed discussion. So if you have issues, to be checked further, please help us reach, out, uh, reach your customer engineer window to see if we can figure it out together. Thank you, Olivia. Robert, thank you. Thank you for your consistent explanation. So everyone, if you have further questions about our products or technologies, or you want to one-on-one -on -one service, don't hesitate to send the email direct, directly to us. And since time is up, we will close our session for today. Thank you for your joining. The replay of the webinar will be available on our YouTube channel. If you have more questions for us, just contact us via our email, sales at inmemory.com.tw or visit our website at www.inmemory.com.tw. Thank you once again and have a good day.